It's about informing the people with the facts to know what's really happening in Thailand, inside government, business, society, with real players, talking to leaders and decision makers, seeking answers with perspective, issues that affect Thailand's future. This is Thailand. This is the Insider Thailand. สวัสดีครับ and welcome to the Insider. Today we are visiting the National Science and Technology Development Agency or NSTDA, a government organization established to promote science and technology and innovation throughout the country. For Thailand to be a modern society, innovation and technology must be omnipresent in homes, in our streets, in our school companies, and of course in our government. We have all seen in advanced countries how this element makes the better life for all citizens, whether it be eco-friendly buses, clever plastic and waste recycling, more effective learning methods, and technological advancement that guarantee safety in our food, energy, and environment. So, where is Thailand now in this drive toward a technologically competent society? Today, the insider is pleased to talk with Dr. Narong s i l i l e r d w a r a g u n president of the NSTDA. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Well, thank you very much for joining the insider. Uh, science and technology and innovation are very important in the world now today. Uh, would you mind sharing with us the role of the um, National Science Technology Development Agency? Uh, as you know, that NASA stands for the National Science and Technology Development Agency. We are the national research center under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. uh, we consist of four national research center. The first one is the uh, research center on the biotechnology and genetic engineering. Technology. Yep. The second one is metal and material technology centers. The third one is the computer and software technology centers. We call it NEC Tech. Mm -hmm. And also the fourth one, the new the new actually is 15 years ago. That's it, nano technologies. Mm -hmm. With this four principle of technology, we can do a lot in order to support the S curve of Thai that ah. we're going forward for Thailand 4.0. Mm -hmm. 4.0. We're talking about innovation. Most of the innovation is based on science and technologies, especially research and development. What we do here in in Science Park and also uh, in in uh, our research organization, mm -hmm. according to our um, strategic plan, five-year plan starting from 2017, mm -hmm. we focus on five disciplines, or, or maybe talking about five industry. The first one we're talking about. Food for the future of food innovation. We aim to create the value added to our uh, biological resources. The main thing, main output that we're doing at the moment and for the future for Thai people as well is functional ingredients, because the functional ingredient can be part of the ingredient in drug, mm -hmm. in pharmaceutical, in cosmetics, as well as in food and feed as well. The second one is the modern transportation. As you know that Thai people, we uh, have a, a new technology, especially in the electrical vehicle, high-speed train, drone, unmanned vehicle, a lot of disruptive technology will come. So we need to prepare our people, our country ready to the new technologies. The first one we're talking about health and quality of life. As you know that Thailand is going to be a fully aging society in the near future. We're going to promote s t to support Thai people and Thailand to be the healthy aging society. I will join the society soon. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we go to our, for the, the fourth one. The fourth one we're talking about biochemicals and biofuel. Yes. As you know that the uh, renewable energy is uh, very popular here. In Thailand as well, and we would like to promote the value added from our biological resources as well as the waste mm -hmm. to become the biomaterial. The key technology is the uh, biorefinery. We're going to invest a lot on that technology in EECI that we will talking about later on. The fifth one 
we're talking about the uh, modern and also the uh, sustainable agriculture. So we would like to promote the innovation for our agriculture people uh, to become a smart farmer, precision farming, that five disciplines that we're going to aim for next five years, starting from last year, 2017. Well, talking about the concept, and of course, um, it seems to me that you and your agency involved directly with the new five curve. How do you coordinate all of those um, you know, areas? The, the way we're working at the moment, we, we try to create a consortium. When we're talking about consortium, there can be a supply side. We coordinate with the research university and other research organization within the country and also outside the country as well. We have a lot of collaboration all around the world to be the consortium on the supply side. At the same time, we would like to create a demand side consortium because on the demand side, we're talking about the private sector. There can be a consortium on the pre-competitive advantage or maybe the project that on the pre-competitive, not on the competitive side on the business. They can join and create a program that can work together and then use that knowledge to accelerate their competitive later on, doing business later on. This is the way we're doing with the company. I may give you some example that we've done for uh, 20 years ago yes. and up to now. We call it Innovation and Technology Assisted Program. In short, we call it ITAP. Mm -hmm. At the starting point, we aim this program to use, use this program to help our SME the small and medium-sized enterprises. As you know that the small and medium-sized enterprises, they have limited of resources. They're using most of their resources for production, for sales, for after-sales service. They don't have any resources to do development and research. That gives them a problem because they cannot compete with other uh, companies that using innovation leading their competitive. What we do, we send out our people, we call our people as the Innovation Technology Assistant, or ITA, to the individual company, talking with the CEO, talking with the owner of the company, find out the pain and also the problem. And we create a vision that how S&T can solve the problem, can solve the pain. If the owner they agree, we will find out an expert. The expert may be come from NASDA, or maybe come from the university, or even though expert from a board, we import the expert if we need it to come up with the project proposal and submit to the owner of the company. The key point is the one who approved the project is not NASDA, it's not Thai government, but the one who approved the project is the owner of the company. So they have to make sure that the project is suited to them. Which and answer, want. yeah, and answer the problem and, and give them more competitive to the, to the world. After they commit to do the project, our ITA will act as the uh, so-called the research department manager. Mm -hmm. We've done things like that. We do evaluation of the project, monitoring the project, and also at the end, we evaluate the project as well. And we ask the third party, maybe other experts, to evaluate the project, mm -hmm. to see is it effective to do some more or maybe ending the project. Yes. After that, we will uh, reimburse the, the expense of that project, half of that expense that they spend on that project, but up to uh, 400,000 uh, baht per project. So in that case, we share the risk because SME we said that oh, doing research and development is risk taking. We don't have any money, so that you do first. If the project is finished, we will support you or subsidize you half of the expense of the project. Mm -hmm. At the moment, the government, especially this government, do support a lot in this program. Mm -hmm. Since 2016, we taking we are taking care of about 400 projects a year. We up to a thousand in next year 2016. It's a thousand pro project. For 2017, last year, it go up to 1,500 or 1,500 projects. And we aim this year not more than 2,000. Mm -hmm. 
we plan with, uh, very fast mm -hmm. on the number of projects. And on the monitoring and also the survey that done by the Chamber, Chamber of Commerce, Commerce University, it yes. says that one baht that you spend on this program, you will return 7.3 baht within a year. One baht will get the return of 7.3? Yeah, wow. within a year. How could they do that? Yeah, because of SME in Thailand at the moment, that they're, they're using conventional technologies. When we improve that technology, we return very fast. Okay, we're going to expand this program for the foreigner as well, and also for the direct investment from the foreign and multinational company, and also the last company as well. We know that uh, Thailand would like to promote an innovation company to invest in Thailand. Most of the innovation company, they need a partner, especially the research university, research organization, research institute to be their partner. Because when, when we're talking about innovation, we need a lot of knowledge yes. in order to, 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 to solve the challenges that you, you will come, you will face when you invest it. I understand that Thailand is, you know, we are in charge of the, uh, we are in the shortage of the uh, technology. So about foreign partner, who are you working? At the moment, we, we have collaboration, especially Japan, China, Germany, as well as Taiwan, all over the world, especially uh, uh, apart from that, it's UK, of course. Okay, we have partners all around the world that are working with, with, with NASA because most of our researchers are the uh, scholarship student, Thai scholarship student that study abroad. That is the linkage that happened when they study there, they know the, their professor. After they come back to work with NASA, this is the, the course link that we work with the professor in, in the university uh, outside Thailand as well. What about um, with the neighboring country? It seems to me that um, you know, uh, we are relatively advanced now. Uh, ha have we provided the assistance uh, you know, for neighboring country? Okay, when we're talking about this area, because uh, CRMV, yep. okay, mostly what we've done, we accept the student or maybe the researcher to come here to NASDAQ, here in this area we call Thailand Science Park, mm -hmm. to do their postdoc or maybe to train with our technologies. So we, we work for, for several years. So most of the people we train from, from here come back to their country. This is the connection that we, we, we got as well. So you're talking about students from uh, Cambodia, Laos, um, Myanmar, Myanmar, and Vietnam, Vietnam, right? So this is quite, I mean, I mean so this serves the government policy of leaving no one behind quite well. And what about the um, EEC at the moment? Because the government plays particularly important on the EEC in order to, to, you know, to be the new engine growth of the country's economy. How your organization um, you know, related to or involved with the EEC? Okay, because before we go into EEC, yes. we have to know the background of NASA. Okay. Why we, we have decided, was decided by the government to, to run the EECI. At this area, we call it Thailand Science Park. Yep. Yep. Thailand Science Park is about 80 acres that we're running here. It's about uh, 90 companies doing research here as a tenants, working closely with NASA. Some of them are multinational companies. Can, 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 can you name the company? Uh, SCG, ah. PTT, Polyplastic, nice. and also we have small company and startup here as well. And also we're running software park. The software park is at Chiang Watana Road. So we run it for more than 15 years here. 15 years already? Yeah, 15 years already. What we provide to the industry and also the company, we provide the uh, consultancies, we provide the co-research, and also the, the research that, that they hire us or maybe uh, support us, some money to do research for them as well. Apart from that, we, we provide training, testing, calibration, all kinds of services that help them to accelerate them to do research here in Science Park. And also the one who are working outside Science Park, we also provide services as well. The Ministry of Science and Technology promote the rural Science Park in Chiang Mai, Khon Kaen, and Songkran. Another three that we already 
going to open maybe next year or next two years. Once we introduced the Thailand 4.0, as I mentioned before, that the key word is innovation. So we need to move from research and development, move from prototype to be the product, from the lab to the market. Yes. We need a translational research yes. to translate from the lab to the industry. That's why ESI is going to be, we call it innovation hub. Mm -hmm. In that area, we're going to do a lot of translational research. We're going to provide a lot of national quality infrastructure. When we're talking about natural quality infrastructure, we're talking about methodology, testing, standard quality. We're going to provide everything over there. And we're going to build a pilot plant, demonstration plant, a huge demonstration plant going to be there to scale up our product or prototype in the lab scale to the industrial scale. So we would like to work in closely with the industry we have a lot of pipeline, a prototype pipeline in the research organization as well as the research university in Thailand. We can join together with the industry and upscale it using the pilot plan that we're going to produce in ECI. After that, after we do optimization, we can move all the people and all the technology to build a factory and do a new business. In our aim, we would like to introduce a new economics to the country, a new industry to the country, because we know that if we own the same industry as we've done previous time, we try to upgrade them, we try to do how to call it the productivities, we cannot overcome the middle income trap. If we want to overcome the middle income trap using innovation, we have to promote a new industry to Thai people especially on the bio-based economy, digital-based economy that we're going to do over there in, in EECI to support the policy of, of, of uh, our government. Before we go any further, can you outline the, the, the product you know, um, that's been translated from, from laboratory to factory? Okay, some of them is enzyme. We're using our microorganism. Uh, organism. You may know that in here, Thailand Science Park, we host about 80,000 uh, microorganisms. Here, we call it a microbe bank. Yeah, this is one of the uh, Thailand uh, bioresources. Okay, because we're talking about bio, bio resources, a lot of bioresources in, in Thailand. We're talking about fungi, microorganisms, we're talking about plants, we're talking about animal cells, and even genome of human genome, we're going to host it. At the moment, we have the enzyme to using as the uh, in, in paper industry. Yes. When would, you would like to make it white, white paper, you use a lot of choline, and they use a lot of water, a lot of energy. We come up with enzyme that use less choline, less water, and less energy. Eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. The problem is we don't have power plant to upscale it. We can do it 10 liters in the laboratory, but the industry, they said, why don't you give up 3,000 liters to test it for a day? I said, sorry, we don't have any pilot plant to do it. So at the moment, we need to collaborate with Taiwanese company. They would like to uh, license our IP. Before that, we said, okay, before we license it, one thing I, I would like to make sure that you're going to produce it here in Thailand. So that means if this project is success, you need to open the factory here in Thailand. They said, okay. That's it, the first thing that we ask them to commit with us. After that, you need to do some pilot for us, at least 3,000 liters, and submit to the paper industry to test it, to verify it. If it works, we're going to open the factory here in, in Thailand. That's one of the examples. Move a little bit further to EEC. You know, how can you play your role, how your agency play its role in um, EEC? We're going to, to run the, the EECI, that is it's an economic corridor of innovation. That's it, the innovation hub, together with PTT. 
we working closely with PDT and NASA to run the EECI. So we would like to be a partner to the investor who invest in that area. As I told you, that innovation company need innovation organization to be a partner. Especially for the foreigner, you don't know the business environment in Thailand. You don't know the research environment in Thailand. How can you support them? Yeah, you can come with us as a hub. NASDAQ can be your partner. And we know the research environment in Thailand. We know uh, experts in Thailand. We know research, university research organization in Thailand. You just talk with us, come with us, mm -hmm. and we, we can provide you the environment and also can solve any problem that you face the regulation in Thailand, asking NASA to be your partner. Mm -hmm. And we're going to locate it in Wang Chan Valley. Mm -hmm. This is in Rayong. It's about 80 kilometers from the Utapau uh, Airport, International Airport, probably 200 kilometers from Bangkok. What about the um, startup and SME? How can your organization or agency support them? When we're talking about startup, as you know that size park all over the world, one thing that they do, they have an incubation. Yeah, act as the incubator to incubate the incubators mm -hmm. here. Startup is the same thing. We done it 20 years ago that we host a lot of uh, one who would like to uh, check the idea, to prove the idea, does it work? For example? The same thing. Yeah. For example, someone would like to do the, 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 the dentist uh, yeah, the chat, yeah, the, the chat for dentist. They say, at the moment, what they sell, they're using electric city. They would like to use air, pneumatic, instead of using electric. Yeah, they come with us, and we host them, join them. They ask us to provide them some of the technique and technologies, and also we share our facilities, our equipment for them. Right now, they export more than 100 set per year. At the moment, this is one of the startup. So we host a lot of uh, uh, startups here in Thailand Park as well as in Software Park. At least 40 companies a year joining with us. Because we have a lot of collaboration internationally, mm -hmm. so they go with us to a board and we do some business matching. Mm -hmm. Some of our startups can soft landing in the uh, incubator or maybe in the co-work space outside Thailand in Taiwan, in Japan, they can go. As well as the startup in other country can soft landing at Silent Side Park and also in Software Park with our uh, collaboration and networking. Wow, very impressive. You are not just providing them the technology, but also the uh, business matching and you have mentioned. Well, indeed, the National Science Technology um, development agency has played such a vital role in uh, not just the country's economy but also um, the Thai people' life and well-being. So thank you very much for joining us today. Technology has become an inseparable part of modern human's life. For citizens to benefit from science and technology, our schools, government services, business and companies must be on the same page to make it happen. In the past few years, the Thai government has been pushing ahead with science and technology at the leading factors in our development and progress. We hope that this momentum continues, especially in this global digital age, as the opportunity to use innovation and technology to enlighten our societies, tackle poverty and disease, address social injustice, and allow for economic empowerment needs to be seized upon. Thank you very much for watching The Insider. See you next week. Sadiqrab. <laughs>